I beseech you to immerse yourselves in the vivid tapestry of my extraordinary rise. This captivating epic unfolds against the backdrop of an era pulsating with ambition, strategic brilliance, and political mastery. Prepare to be transported to a time where the turbulent currents of the French Revolution and my unwavering spirit converge to shape the very course of history. In the crucible of chaos and discontent, I perceived the transformative potential of the revolution. The spirit of change coursed through the veins of France, an opportunity ripe for the taking. I saw beyond the chaos, recognizing that this maelstrom of revolution could be harnessed to propel me to greatness. With the audacity that would become my hallmark, I embarked on a path of military glory, leaving an indelible mark upon the battlefields of Europe. Picture, if you will, the sun-kissed fields of Italy. A theater where I, a young general, ascended to prominence. In a series of stunning victories, I defeated the formidable Austrian forces, defying expectations and redefining the nature of warfare. At the Battle of Arkhol, I displayed my audacious bravery, leading my men across a treacherous bridge under heavy fire, cementing my reputation as a leader unafraid to risk all for victory. These triumphs brought not only military glory, but also a fervent loyalty from my soldiers and the adoration of the French people. The echoes of those victories resounded across the European continent. The decisive Battle of Austerlitz stands as a testament to my strategic brilliance. A triumph that sealed my status as a military genius. Against the combined might of the Austro-Russian forces, I meticulously planned every move, exploiting the weaknesses of my adversaries with surgical precision. The result was a resounding victory that forever altered the balance of power in Europe and solidified my reputation as an indomitable force to be reckoned with. However, my ascent was not solely built upon the laurels of military conquest. No, I was a master manipulator of the political landscape. With a keen eye for opportunity and a penchant for calculated maneuvering, I deftly navigated the treacherous waters of power. Through alliances and shrewd negotiations, I outmaneuvered my rivals and advanced my cause. The Treaty of Campo Formio, a crowning diplomatic achievement, reshaped the map of Europe, ensuring the expansion of the French Empire and consolidating my position as a statesman of unparalleled prowess. But my ambitions extended beyond territorial gains and political dominance. I was determined to forge a new order a legacy that would transcend the ephemeral nature of power. The Code Napoleon, the comprehensive civil code that bore my name, was the cornerstone of this transformation. It was a groundbreaking achievement a unifying legal framework that replaced the archaic and disparate laws of the past. The Code Napoleon espoused principles of equality, justice, and individual rights, forever altering the fabric of society. It promoted meritocracy and laid the foundation for a more egalitarian society, where talent and ability, rather than birthright, would determine one's trajectory. Moreover, recognizing the importance of education, I sought to nurture the minds of the young, establishing lycees, institutions of learning that welcomed talented individuals regardless of their social standing. These institutions became bastions of intellectual curiosity, fostering a new generation of leaders who would carry forward the ideals of the revolution and contribute to the progress of the nation. My rise is a symphony compassed of battles won, alliances forged, and reforms enacted. Join me as we embark on a timeless voyage through history, delving into the intricate chapters that define my legacy. Explore the courage and audacity that propelled me to triumph, unravel the web of political intrigue that marked my path to power, and bear witness to the enduring impact of my reforms. A testament to the resilience and resilience of the human spirit.